Hello, welcome to a cozy evening yoga class. This is the perfect class to do to wind down before bed. You can put on your pajamas or something comfy, roll out your mat and let's do it. We will begin seated in the middle of our mat taking any seated position you wish. That can be seated with the legs crossed in front of you. Maybe you're up on the shins. Maybe you want to sit up on a pillow or block. Find something extra comfortable for this class. Once you've found the right shape for you, close down your eyes. Palms rest on the thighs. Taking a moment to arrive onto our mats. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe you've had a stressful day. Whatever happened today, let's do our best to put it to the side and focus on our yoga practice. Inviting in deeper, fuller breaths. Eyes remain closed, taking a few shoulder rolls going one way and then the other. Now some half neck rolls if that feels good, but stay focused on your breath. Now opening your eyes if you want, but you can keep them closed. Place your right palm on the mat beside you, keeping your chest open. Looking for the stretch in our left side body. If you feel very comfortable, very open, you can drop your right elbow to the mat. Now, if dropping your elbow made you hunch forward and close off your chest, then we just want to come up a little higher. Left palm can go to the left knee, grounding it into the mat as your left booty will want to lift up. If you've been working at a computer all day, this feels so great. I know after doing this myself, I feel like I can breathe deeper. Adding on now, extend the left arm up to the sky, reaching it over your body. If your elbow is grounded, try to keep your shoulders stacked over your elbow. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's pretty well aligned. Reaching through the left fingertips, breathing deeply. Rooting each fingertip in your right palm into your mat. Maybe we open up, last few breaths. And gently release. Coming back to center, tall spine. Exhale it all out. Notice how you feel. Moving on to the other side. Starting with the left palm on the mat. Right palm can move to your right knee, lowering down if it feels right. If you can remain open, that's great. 
working on grounding your right booty muscle into your mat. Creating a little resistance with your right palm. Pressing down on the right knee. Eyes remain shut or gazing upwards. Adding on, extending our right arm high and over our body. You should feel a beautiful lengthening in your right side body. Open through your heart and your chest. We're reaching through your right fingertips towards the left side of your mat. Last couple of breaths. When you're ready, We'll really slowly come back up to center, tall spine. Beautiful. Taking a gentle twist to the right, left palm to the right knee. We twist towards the back, right palm meets the ground behind you, tall spine, gazing up towards the back of your right shoulder. On your next exhale, twisting to the other side, right palm to your left knee, gazing out over your left shoulder. This side might be very different, that's okay. Maintain a tall spine, try not to hunch. On your next breath, twist back to center. Palms clasp behind your head, drawing your elbows together and release the chin toward your chest. Not adding too much force, kind of just let your palms rest on the back of your head. This one feels so good after you're done with it. We are welcoming blood flow to this area. And releasing back up to center. Hands at your side. Good. Taking a moment to open the chest and our heart. Big, big inhale. Pull your chest forward almost like you're doing a cat stretch but seated. Shoulders drop down and away from your ears. Shoulder blades are drawing towards one another. Gazing up. As you exhale, round your spine, drop your chin to your chest and pull the navel in. Inhale, open through your heart, staying here this time for a solid moment. You can release your head all the way back if it feels okay in your neck. Shoulders pulling back, chest opening, breathing into your heart space. Inhale, and exhale, round once more, pulling everything into center, and release back to a neutral spine. Let's make our way onto our backs, no rush, legs out long when you arrive. Hug both legs in your chest, giving yourself a big hug. Rocking back and forth. Try to apply equal pressure to both legs. I know we tend to favor one side, often hugging that side in a little deeper. For me, it's my right side. Hips are grounded, shoulders grounded. Keep it very gentle and relaxed. Making some little half circles. As you exhale, hug your legs in deeper. Mm -hmm. 
Now left sole, the foot goes to the mat. Right ankle rests on the top of the left thigh. Take a minute here to draw your right knee away from your body. Remaining here, adding on, clasping behind the left thigh or left shin. Here for just two breaths. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Once more. Left foot back to the mat. Allow the whole bottom half of your body to fall to the left side of your mat. Just taking a moment to realign our hips here. And back up to center. Switching sides. Right foot to the mat. Hug your left knee in the chest for one breath. And placing the left ankle on the top of the right thigh. Drawing your left knee away from your body. Adding on if you wish to go deeper. Right foot lifts off the ground, taking hold of the back of the thigh or the shin if you want to go even deeper. Two breaths. Still trying to draw our left knee away from our face while we are here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just make it your intention to move in that direction. Right foot back down to your mat. You know where we're going. Allow the bottom half of your body to fall to the right side. Here only for a moment. And back up to center. Now we have a few options for our last little bit here. Depending on how you want to close out your practice. If you're feeling very chill and mellow, or if you're doing this practice in bed, bring the soles of the feet together, or Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly, legs making a diamond-like shape. You can place pillows underneath the knees or blocks. Our other option is plow for a deep back and hamstring stretch. I don't recommend doing this one in bed. If you're on your mat, make sure you have enough room behind you. Shoulders stack under as you use your core to lift your legs up and over your body. Keep it really gentle. Palms can come to the spine for support. You can bend at the knees. The legs can cover your ears or your eyes or keep them out long. Breathing deeply. If there's something behind you to put your toes up on, like a couch or a chair, that's a great way to modify here. The most important thing is that we don't move our neck when we're in this pose. Palms can also be flat to the mat or clasped together if that feels good. We are tapping into our parasympathetic nervous system. This is always a great pose, but especially before bed. We will slowly make our way out of the pose, engaging the core, navel to spine, very slowly and intentionally, bring your legs back down. 
Once you've reached the mat, hug your legs back into your chest. A little counter stretch, exhaling everything out with a loud sigh. Take your time. It's not unusual to feel a big stretch in your back. Now, if you would like to grab a pillow to put under your head, you can also snag a blanket. We have a few options here as well. You can take the soles of the feet as wide as your mat, letting the knees fall in towards each other. You can remain in a reclined butterfly with the soles of the feet together. Or take a traditional Shavasana with the legs out long. Take your time, no rush, finding your favorite shape. Arms come out wide alongside you or in cactus. This is the most important part of our practice. Working on surrendering, letting go of all the effort from our day. Surrendering to our mats, to this moment. Release control of your breath. Try to find a quiet center point in your mind and let everything else just drift past. Really allowing a beautiful meditative state to find us before we move on to sleep or whatever we have left for the night. Very good job. I recommend staying in this pose if you have time or allow yourself to drift off to sleep if you're in bed. We will end our practice right here. Whatever you choose to do next, do it mindfully. Invite in some extra peace for yourself and someone else. Have a beautiful night. Namaste.